Jack has always been passionate about graffiti art and this year he was instrumental in setting up a community project which used graffiti to brighten up one of Linwood's underpasses. Once I kind of got involved I never wanted to really leave it behind, you know, I just always wanted to learn like, about new artists and stuff. I just ended up like kind of researching like what happens in graffiti and like the things to do and the things not to do. When you're doing it in the street illegally, there's too much danger in it and getting caught and everything, so I wanted to try and do something productive and like do it legally. After starting out on his own, he came across a council-run project aimed at redesigning Linwood Skate Park. There he met John Kennedy, who helped Jack source funding for his own graffiti project at the underpass. Um, we applied for money through a fund called Cashback, and we were successful. That particular area had been quite bad with graffiti, so they wanted something that could look good. And it got a lot of coverage after that from like local papers and stuff, which was good. Because it's not a bit that most people would walk down, but it was quite good that it got the coverage that it kind of deserved. The experience has encouraged Jack to continue to run official graffiti projects. And Jack um, has successfully got money through a project called Live Unlimited and he's looking to try and get um, match funding through Tesco to do another project um, down in the, the Tesco site in the Linwood area. They want to see some drawings and stuff just before, so we're just waiting on word back from them. Really at this age I'm just hoping to get as many projects as I can and just go out and find companies that would want even just designs for stuff done. There's like a lot of paths you can go to just from starting graffiti.